interested in presenting the interest of all students. He said that displeasure of the security and investment management in hope that such an occurrence will not be seen again. But it was rather unfortunate that last Friday, while well, students of University Hall were about to have their morale, the security forces came there saying they were not given the permission to have the morale and hence could not be permitted to do so. Now, due to the communication channel not being so clear as to how students were exactly told shouldn't have morale, students were agitated and were not happy, they did not agree to just back as a plan for it. The security therefore called for backup reinforcements and they came there, tried to use force to stop the students. And in the process, there was a little agitation. Now, this led to some students being chased. And eventually, one student was beaten. Beaten so badly that he's still in the hospital as we speak. Upon hearing the incident, it was rather unfortunate. It kept us all worried about what's happening to our people, yeah. especially when it had happened first and we have registered how discontented we were. And so we went to the security, met the head to discuss the issue. And all we got from them was that the students were wrong and the security had to do what they had to do. Now it is, uh, it is rather appalling to say that the student who was beating that bad was in a very bad condition. He kept themselves together with other 10 students who were arrested. The student was then sent to the hospital that following morning. In that poor state, leading the pain, the student was still kept in the custody of the security. This has led to a lot of alcohol and rage among the students in campus. We know very well how over the months a lot of policies have been rolled out by university. Students have not been happy at all. I've expressed them in so many ways. Focus FM, social media. Media and every single country of some For us, as SRC, we have done our very best to make sure that at every single point we are in, the city of the country we are in, we are in the city of the But at this point, the students are fed up. Please get to how things are going. Especially when the students are fed up with how things are going. Especially when students are feeling that the security who is supposed to protect them, their core mandate, their main reason for being on campus is to ensure that students' livelihood is well secured. Students are now in fear and panic because of security personnel. This is a time we shouldn't stand for. At the Student Representative Council, we then organized a meeting, an extraordinary meeting, with all members of the SRC Parliamentary Council, with all including reps, department president, faculty president, college president, and every single student interested to have an encounter with the SRC for us to discuss how issues have been over the few months. It was rather sad how students were venting their anger about how issues were being handled. The students are sad, the students are angry, the students are grieved. And so must we be as an SRC. We are just coming from this meeting. And another meeting, students have made it clear that they are ever willing to support the, all leaders on this strike we are embarking on. And so the SRC, through the SRC, all students' leaders, including the parliament, the department president, all the way to the classroom, have agreed to embark on a strike for lectures tomorrow. So tomorrow, 22nd October 2018, through the SRC, all students are by this information being informed of our strike being declared that we are not attending lectures, not just for the sake of not attending lectures, but to send out a strong signal to university management, our displeasure of how we are being treated. Students are disheartened. Students are surprised. Students are worried. Students are in fear. Students are scared. And that is why we, the SRC, have decided to step in and take this upon ourselves to make sure that the interests of the average KNEC student 
is met. We are here representing 50,000 students of Kenya University. And so as I speak, I do not speak as Master Kelvin Saad, the president, but I speak as a 50 voice, 50,000 voices of students of Kenya University venting out their anger to university management. We have all agreed that tomorrow, having boycotted lectures, we are aware that the message has been sent to the dean of students stating that the lectures is compulsory. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in the heat of this moment, we as the SRC, together with the Parliamentary Council, the Moves Local, PNC, and all student leaders are still by this formation, standing by our Tomorrow at 7 a.m., all student leaders and all interested students in KNS are meeting at this junction and we are marching to the administration to send the administration a list of all the issues to the competition. Issues students are not happy with, issues students are discontented with. And we are having requirements that we are giving the administration as well. For the student who was beaten, we are required that the administration compensate him and ensure that his medical well being is ensured. For morale being bad, we feel that students should have their liberty. If it has to be controlled, we don't have a problem with it. But the ban cannot be put on the activity that makes students happy. For the security personnel, we are requiring the university to come out and let us know that henceforth professionalism is needed in their work, such that there will be no such ministers being repeated. With this message, we as a KNST SRC stand with every single student. And we want to make every single student know that we will not rest. Indeed, enough is enough. Everyone has had enough. Students are fed up. Our voices must be heard. Let's all meet tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the PPS junction to show our anger and sense of what we are happy about. We need to see a change in the industry. The thing is we want to see. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening.